determination and so much training that goes into this. And of course, everyone has a story. And runners of this year's Honolulu Marathon share one thing in common, determination. KITV4's Aaron Coogan introduces us to two of today's runners and shares their stories of resilience, hope, and advocacy. Hailing all the way from Collegeville, Pennsylvania, Matt and Sandy McHugh signed up for the Honolulu Marathon as a way to honor their late son, Jake. Just four years ago, Jake lost his battle to an extremely rare form of pediatric cancer. Just 14 at the time, the tragedy transformed into advocacy. Named after his love of the brave mythical beast, the family founded Jake's Dragon Foundation to spread awareness, contribute to research funding, and provide support to families going through the same thing. Our foundation helps local families, but the research that we fund hopefully will help families across the world. With the day-to-day -day things that I don't need to do for him anymore, I, I still have that need to help somebody. And if I can help another mother not have to walk through life with the pain that I feel every day, um, the amount of physical pain we'll be in tomorrow will be nothing compared to the amount of grief that we carry with us every single day. The marathon's date, December 12, 2021, coinciding with what would have been Jake's 18th birthday. They say in signing up, collecting donations and sharing his story, the decision is one that will help keep Jake's memory alive. And one of the things I told my other children when we sat around Jake's bed as he was passing was that we, good must come from this. Um, Jake's life was cut short, but his spirit was sent to us for a reason. Jake's purpose isn't over. This is his purpose. And they're planning tackling that 26.2 miles and crossing the finish line is to take it like they take every day, one step at a time. Um, our motto is to keep going, and that's what we plan to do. Funds from Jake's Dragon Foundation have totaled nearly $200,000 in both research and family support efforts. Aaron Coogan, KITV4, Island News. Thank you, Aaron. What an inspirational story right there.